Cam here from Ontario Outdoor Pursuit again with another review. This time I'm going to be reviewing the gear that I actually used and that is the Hunt Shield uh, winter gear. Um, this particularly was purchased at Canadian Tire in Exeter, Ontario. A uh, great store for all your hunting and outdoor needs. They have a very wide selection of both men's and women's in this particular gear. Um, so this is the Hunt Shield. They call them the bibs. Um, they are more of a pant and they do have your shoulder strap. Um, this is, I wear a size men's medium. They're a little larger, of course, for layering purposes. It makes total sense. Um, what I really like about these is the quietness. Um, it, it, they're, they're so very quiet. They're water resistant. Um, they come with a quiet and reinforced um, pad here on both sides of the legs so as you're walking you don't have any sort of chafe noising and as well on the knees there's a reinforcement as like a um, this would be like a, a cordura type fabric and then uh, loaded with two different pockets two frontal pockets both water proof pockets and then of course your standard hip pocket um, what I really wanted in a winter bottom was ventilation um important for if you've got a 600 yard walk out to a tree stand if you're coyote hunting ventilation's huge of course with your layering you don't want to be sweating by the time when you get out there in the middle of winter you will be cold so great when you get to the stand simply zip it up and you're nice and warm um th these fit me just a little on the large side but again for layering purposes it's good to have a long john and something that uh, can fit underneath these. They go over my boots and they, they don't drag at, at that point. So this is the Hunt Shield pants. And thus far I've had these out in minus seven and I've been uh, more than comfortable. Not, not, not a shiver, not a chill on me. So next up is the Hunt Shield jacket. Now there is two styles of jackets. There's one a little more similar to the pants. Um, and that one's just got different location of zippers and different, a little bit different orange placement. Um, so here is the jacket I went with. And this is a two-in-one jacket. So again, real quiet material. Um, very flexible if you're a bow hunter. No problems pulling your bow back. And when I guess we'll start kind of inside. So. so this can be worn as obviously two layers or one removable with the sweater and this would be good this is just fine you know with the right hoodie underneath right merino base layers you can run this even up to minus 10 itself this is really just on our our warmer days i wore a merino t-shirt with this attached to the actual jacket yesterday for minus seven on a three and a half hour sit and i did one didn't break a sweat walking in and i did not have a shiver all night so uh, great system for the winter. So let's talk a little bit about the pockets on this jacket. Um, as a bow hunter, it is incredible that on either side of this jacket, whether you're left-handed or right, you have a chest zipper. And for me, that is your perfect spot for your rangefinder. Quick, close to the chest, up to the face to grab a range on the game that you're hunting. So that is a great feature there, as well as your standard side pockets, nice, deep, and a fabric interior as well to keep keep your hands nice and warm. Um, all of these zippers are again waterproof zippers and a water resistant material. So this is the men's hunt shield jacket and as well as there's the arm, arm zipper as well. You can keep you know warm pockets in either of your arms and that is a, another handy feature. Great all around jacket. Um, now price point on these, this here is a $200 jacket. Sometimes you can grab it on sale at Canadian Tire and uh, probably something around the 160 region is what I would imagine a sale price to be. So that there is a $200 winter jacket paired with $180 uh, bibs as they call them or pant and so for $400, you are fully covered for winter hunting. Now I'm gonna go ahead and try these on. Um, I myself am five foot nine on a good day. So these here, um, obviously, here's my belt line. I actually prefer to 
have everything tucked into these pants and wear them more as a bib style with the suspenders. And I find this comfortable just so I can tuck everything in. No wind gets up my uh, up my back with a hoodie. So belt line is here, say about four inches up is where I'm keeping these. And being the height I am, once I put these over my boot, these just sit nicely on my heel, no drag. Um, that same fabric on the pant, on the jacket as well in the pockets are also in the pants too. I wanted to make mention of that. So that is the fit of a men's medium. And I'll go ahead and throw this jacket on. Now, if you're gonna use both pieces to this jacket, I wouldn't recommend wearing a big thick hoodie unless you're someone who gets very cold very easily um, then you can just then you're not super bulky out there also men's medium so I'm very uh, short torso so it is a little larger but great mobility for bow pointing a gun um, and if you are a bow hunter, once you, what you'll find on a, a lot of the higher end jackets in some of the bigger brand name companies is this same system right here. So this is really allowing, not restricting you when using a bow and the material to have that range of motion is a great feature as well. Men's medium and jacket, $400 set for winter hunting, good to go.